Item number SCP-524 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedure As it has a benign nature, little security is needed for this SCP, more commonly known as water. SCP-524 must be kept under surveillance in order to prevent accidental damage to any vital material within the site. Whilst not under the direct care of a personnel member, SCP-524 may be kept in a specially designed pen, roughly 5 by 5 meters, with sensors placed within to notify SCP-524's current keeper of any escapes. Due to its abilities, there are no specific diets to be assigned to this SCP. Description SCP-524 is a common white rabbit of the species Olectrologus chroniculus. It can be identified by its white fur with symmetrical black markings on its body. SCP-524 has shown the ability to be able to consume any material, regardless of edibility. It eats in the same fashion as any other member of its species, though it can eat substances that are not only inedible but dangerous. SCP-524 has been recorded chewing through wood, steel, glass, and in one instance, several kilos of radioactive material. SCP-524 shows no adverse effect from anything it has consumed. Despite the obvious paradox involved, SCP-524 has been known to fully consume its own body. It begins by chewing on its tail, slowly eating up past the hind legs and up towards its head. When it reaches up past its front legs and neck, SCP-524 somehow manages to flip its entire mouth inside out, consuming its entire head, and disappearing completely. Roughly 30 minutes later, SCP-524 reappears near the spot it had eaten itself, completely whole. It is essentially unharmed by the process. Addendum SCP-524 was discovered during a major blackout in August of 20 Beep. It had disrupted a large power plant by chewing through several reactors and was discovered nibbling on a large wire. Item number SCP-524 Tissue test record Sample consumed without incident Termination test record SCP-524 and SCP-682 introduced into testing chamber. SCP-682 examines SCP-524 suspiciously, at which point SCP-524 begins gnawing on SCP-682's anterior right limb. SCP-682 jumps backward, bellowing. SCP-524 pursues SCP-682 for two minutes, at which point SCP-682 climbs four meters up the wall of the testing chamber and is beyond SCP-524's reach. SCP-524 ceases pursuit and begins washing its face with its paws. It continues this activity for 15 minutes, during which time SCP-682 remains 4 meters up the wall and beyond SCP-524's reach. SCP-524 then crosses to the other side of the test chamber and begins breaching containment. Test aborted.